Hey YouTube, this is Prince from Desi Programmer and welcome to this quick video. We are going to talk about the Java installation on your Windows operating system. So this video is actually important from many points of view. The number one reason is that Java doesn't automatically adds itself to the path just as Python. So even after installing Java, you can't easily use it without adding it to the path manually, which could be a reason many people don't find don't find themselves comfortable installing Java. Other reasons are that we'll be using this Java JDK for a lot of things right onwards this time. And they are like the Java tutorial itself, Java GUIs, then Android, then Flutter, and so on. So this video, I'm going to make sure that Java is installed and configured in your systems as it is on mine. So the first thing that you have to do is to launch your favorite browser, which could be Chrome, Safari, Mozilla, Opera, or anything and simply search for Java JDK. Then hit enter and obviously you will get a lot of results. The first one could be Java SC Development Kit 8, which is actually downloaded a lot, but you can click, click on Java SC Downloads. The latest version is 12 right now when I'm making this video and you can see we have Java SC 12.0.1. So I'll just click on this download and here you will get a lot of options to download. First of all, you will have to click on this accept license agreement. If I just try to increase the browser size, you can see you have to click on this accept license agreement, which I already clicked. And now you will get you will get a lot of options for Linux, Mac OS and Windows. As we are on Windows right now, I will have to check on this Windows options and if we have an exe installer and a zip file. I'll go with the exe installer. Click on this and a download will be initiated as you can see right now i hope it initiates okay so the download has initiated i will pause and cancel this download because i already have java jdk downloaded as you can see right here this is java jdk 12.0.1 windows ex installer that i already downloaded for myself now what we have to do is to double click on this exe installer and it will automatically ask your permission and then the installation of Java JDK is actually pretty easy. There is nothing like much core programming in it. It's just a selection of next, 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 and so on. As you can see, we get a wizard that will automatically help us with the Java SC development kit installation. Click on next, click on next. This is the default directory where your program will go. Remember this default directory, this is C, program files, Java, and then JDK. You can change it if you want to, but you can leave it as it is and click on next. Then Java will be installed. Just wait till the installation completes. And I'll catch you up soon as soon as the installation is completed. Now your system could be slow or even mine could be slow. So it may take us uh, some time. Okay, so it, I have actually installed it. So I will close this and here comes the next step. And why the next step is necessary. Let me show you. If I launch my command prompt right now, and if I type a command like let's say Python and since I have Python installed, you see this interactive console. We call this as Python interactive console right here. But the problem is that if you type something like Java, you will see that it says Java is not recognized as an internal or external command, which means that the computer is still doesn't recognize Java as a valid command, which it should. So I'll just close this command prompt and you have to just search for variables and click on edit system environment variables then click on environment variables and here you will see this one variable that is path click on edit and if you don't see this variable you can simply delete you can simply create a new one but in this you have that all i already have this c program zdk 8 which i actually deleted uh, i just uninstalled so I'll delete this you may not have this so you do not you don't need to delete and that's completely okay now we have to go to our computer C program files Java Java ZDK 12.1 this is the bin that we need so just copy this address I'll say copy close this one click on new then paste this click on ok click on ok again and click on ok now let me tell you one thing right here which actually caused a lot of problem for me 
the first time when I was trying to do this. If you have already a command prompt open for yours, then remember that command prompt won't still show Java as a valid command. Actually, after editing the system environment variable, you do not need to restart your computer, but you need to restart your command prompt. That is, is initiate a new command prompt. So I will just launch the command prompt again, CMD. And now if I type Java, you will see that it gives me a lot of options, which in a way says that now my computer understands that Java is installed on the system. And if I do something like, I hope Java hyphen version may work. Okay, so it says Java version 12.0.1. We have the runtime environment and a server. So anyway, that's not the point of the video right now. All that we wanted to understand is that we downloaded the Java SE kit, Java 12 actually, then we installed it and we also manually configured the Java to path for our system, which will now be used for Java programming, Android, Flutter, React Native and so on. So I'll catch you up soon in the next videos where we'll be talking about Android app development as well as Flutter. So till then, keep coding, keep sharing.